Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using Sibylla cards. We have five decks here and we're asking the question, what do we need to let go of? So what is it that we need to let go of? And we have five decks here, as I said, the, that's the first option here. And then we have the second option, the th yeah, the second option and the third option, the fourth option and the fifth option. They're all Italian, Sibylla, Gypsy cards, if you may. All right, go ahead, make your selection, and you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, um, we are asking, what is it that we need to let go of at this moment? What is it that we need to let go of? And what is the guidance as we go ahead? And what is the information that we need to know right now that helps us to let go of whatever it is that we need to let go of. So here are the possible meanings of these cards. Well, firstly, we've got anger and then we have travel and we have writing a letter and we have the today card. We also have the card here, legame, which is in the center, uh, which refers to the bond or refers to marriage. And I think the cards here are talking about what do we need to let go of? We need to let go of the anger around the movement of a potential marriage or potential bond that you may have with someone. And the way in which to do that, the way in which to work with that is to be able to perhaps write a letter explaining how you've been feeling or what you've been thinking about. And to do that uh, presently, to do that uh, today. And if you do that today, then you'll find that you will have had some kind of relief from it and that you could continue to enjoy uh, the day. So the cards are talking about not losing time as a result of deliberating upon anger around a bond or around a contract or around something where perhaps you were to be in relationship with someone or that hasn't really worked out or perhaps there was some kind of contract that needed to take place which you're waiting for and it hasn't really panned out the cards are talking about not deliberating too long upon a bond or upon a contract that needs to take place and simply to let go of things that are not working out easily, that are not working out, that are not flowing. It's also talking about letting go of anger that you may have regarding a particular situation, letting go of that anger that may be forcing you to move away, to travel away, or letting go of that anger which may be encouraging you to make a decision impulsively that you might not normally be making. Another way to read these cards are to say, well, we need to let go of the idea of moving. We need to let go of the idea of moving and settling somewhere, or the idea of traveling. We need to let go of that for the moment. We need to give up on that idea for the moment. There's another um, way in which one could read this, and that's to say that we need to let go of something by writing a letter and terminating uh, a contract or terminating a friendship or terminating something that would have been a bond in the past, but to let know, let the, the, the other party know about that, so let the other party know what is going on. Um, you know, there's a warning here that says that it's important not to let go of today not to not to actually give up on the day, not to let go of the present and not to lose the present to an idea that may be in the future and also not to lose the present to expectations that you may have of a particular person or a particular um, institution or somebody outside of yourself, um, something outside of yourself, not to have, not to place your expectations upon this and then to be let down because then you'll be letting go of the day as opposed to letting go of what it is that doesn't serve you. So just a reiteration that the day today, it serves you. It serves you if you choose to work with it and to make it work for you. But in this case, 
uh, it's important to let go of any emotions that may be stimulating you to act um, in an impulsive manner or to act in a manner in which you may want to get away or travel or break off something um, quite spontaneously, but to look into the idea of actually um, letting go of a bond or letting go of the idea of a bond. So letting go of the idea of a marriage. So if you're interested in someone um, and things are not really working out as you want it to work out, the thing that you need to be uh, doing right now is not focusing on the bond, not focusing on the marriage or where it's headed to, not focusing on how the relationship is moving, but rather simply just focusing on the present day, how it works at this moment in time. If you're looking at at this in terms of your own life and and how it applies to you and, and your well-being, I would say that the advice here is to let go of any decision that you might have made to travel or to move or to settle down somewhere else or to let go of any decision that you have or where you might need to commit to something on a more permanent basis or on a semi-permanent basis and just to focus right now on today and where this is heading and focus on the joys of what you have in the present day. So I'm going to leave this reading there. I think that's what these cards mean in that combination i do feel like it's quite a positive reading you know it doesn't feel like something that's negative or heavy or hard it just feels like it will work out in your favor if you let go of this there's a reward for letting go of this the sun shines upon you that things work out in your favor there's joy around it and there's a lot of lightness around this energy so good luck with whatever decision you're going to be making regarding letting go of things and um let me know in the comment section what you've decided. I'd love to hear from you. All right, sending you all many blessings and much love and wishing you a fabulous day ahead. So for those of you who have chosen the second option, which is the Sibylla Oracle cards here, we are asking, what do we need to let go of? What is the advice as to what to let go of at this time? And how would we benefit from letting go at this time? So the cards we have here are thinking, the soldier, or thought, the soldier, quarrel, letter, and waiting. And so at first glance, when I look at this, I see the message being, what do we need to let go of? Well, we need to let go of thinking too much. We need to let go of fighting in our minds, in our mind. We need to let go of, of being defensive. We need to let go of trying to communicate with another. And we need to let go of waiting for another. So that's the my first analysis of these cards. If you are in a situation where you're waiting on someone and, and you're spending way too much of time thinking about that person, if in your mind you are quarreling with that person, you're angry with that person, you're feeling quite um, upset with that person and you're wanting to communicate with them but you're stopping yourself from communicating with them then you need to simply let go of this you need to s simply let go of thinking too much about the situation let go of trying to communicate with them let go of waiting for them let go of these quarrels in your mind so the advice here is to clear your mind and simply to free yourself and to allow yourself to let go of this, this whole situation that's hijacking your mind so the message I've just given you now could apply to those in romantic relationships, but it could also uh, uh, apply to those in a work situation or waiting upon another. Wherever you're waiting upon another, waiting for another and designing your life around that person or what that action would be, whether it's a, a letter from an institution or whether it's a letter from your workplace or from your family or from a, a lover, whatever it is, the waiting for them at the waiting for them and designing your life around them is actually going to be more harmful to you at present than not so the idea here is to give up waiting for another the idea is to give up thinking too much about another and investing too much of your time 
in a particular situation because it's simply going to cause you conflict and yourself and not going to really release you from that. The idea here is to move towards something that is refreshing and uh, a state of uh, calm and relax, a uh, relaxed state where you're not thinking too much, where you're not too busy in your mind and where you can free your mind from all those thoughts. Regardless of your situation, if you find yourself feeling defensive or feeling like you need to protect yourself in any way or feeling like you need to fight for something, at this moment you need to walk away and just let go of that because this is taking way too much of your energy and it serves as a distraction from what you really need to be doing, from the path that you really need to be on. So take heed of that because it feels like that's a really important message for you at this moment. There's also a sense here that your thought processes could be what is trapping you. Your thoughts could be what it is that you need to let go of. The particular thought processes that you've been having lately have been trapping you and keeping you in conflict within yourself. And instead of waiting for the situation to change or waiting for uh, circumstances to change outside of you, it might be worth it to simply try to uh, rework your thought patterns, try to observe your thought patterns and try to uh, change them so that they reflect a more lighter uh, quality as well as a more um, positive uh, quality because this is what um, is probably bringing you down on some way because the message here is to say, well, what do we need to let go of? And then it's here the message is very clear, well, let go of these thoughts, let go of these, this defensive action, let go of the conflict that you have, and let go of trying to reach out or making an attempt to reach out. And so there is a sense here that, and let go of the waiting, of course, so there's a sense here that perhaps you're thinking about something and you're overthinking it, and it doesn't have to be with regard to love or anything else, it could be with anything in your life, and you're hoping and waiting for a different outcome, but it's not happening. And the message is to let go, of, let go of these thoughts because these thoughts are what is hampering your forward movement in the direction that you need to be going into. So I think I'm going to leave you there. I think um, that pretty much sums up these cards. And good luck with whatever you're letting go of. And let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. And many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the third option, uh, we are working with the La Vera Sibila Oracle. And we are asking the same question, what do we need to let go of? What is our advice to let go of at this moment? What is it that we need to let go of right now? What doesn't serve us? And what can we release at this moment that we no longer need in our lives? Okay, so we have some happy looking cards here, but they are in the reverse position. Now, I don't read the Sibylla cards in reverse position. If you do, you're welcome to go and read your own cards. Uh, and if, yeah, but otherwise stick around and listen to my interpretation of these cards. So here we have the Casa, which is house. We have Allegrezza al cuore, which is um, cheerfulness uh, to the heart or cheerfulness at the heart. We have La Nemica, which is the enemy, and we have uh, Giovine Fanciulla, which is the young girl or young maiden, and we have La Conversazione. And so these cards are really an interesting combination of cards when you're asking about what do we need to let go of. So the way in which I would read these cards are to say that at the heart of the situation is the enemy. And this enemy could be a young woman uh, or somebody who represents uh, as a young woman, somebody who, who um, yeah, who could be a young woman 
or who could identify as a young woman. And so in this uh, situation, it's as if that this person is part of the fun that you're having, part of the goodness that's in your life. But it's possible that they are potentially gossiping around or they are potentially, well, they're an enemy in some way. Perhaps they are, uh, they represent some negative force. Perhaps they're jealous of you. Perhaps they have an eye on your love or on your home as represented here. But uh, the message here, the advice is to let go of this person, to let go of the enemy, to let go of this young girl and to let go of the joy that you have, that you celebrate with them, as well as the conversation that um, is associated with this. And there's also a house here, so to let go of this house. So I would say that this is quite a particular message, and um, it could be that you're visiting someone right now and you're staying with them, and they're saying, well, it's time to move on from this home. It's time to move on out of this house. Or it could be that you are renting a room from or or an apartment from someone who who represents this for you, or somebody who's the daughter of the people of whom you rent from. There's also a sense here that you know one doesn't necessarily want to let go of um, the joy that you have that's close to your heart, but one needs to see if that is if the sincerity there and if you have any enemies in your context. So you might not be seeing that there, there that you have an enemy in your midst. Um, and the cards here are talking about letting go of that frivolity or that sense of comfort or stability that you may have in this home or with these, with these friends, or with these people where you seem to be having a lot of fun. And to be able to look at the situation more clearly, to be able to be more discerning, to be less naive in the situation and to look at actually what's really going on here. So to let go of that um, naive context of just having a good time, just buying into the, the institution or the stability that the house brings along. And the house here could represent a place that you live at, but it could also represent something that gives you uh, stability, something that holds you, something that... Um, offers protection on the surface level at the very least as a facade and in this case it's it's telling you to let go of that in the it could also mean that you could if you were thinking about letting go or uh, not releasing not renewing your 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 lease on an apartment or a house that you you actually let go of it it could be that you actually let go of a house and that it's okay to do that uh, it could also be that that you let go of um, a potential habit that you may have, which is uh, socializing a lot, going out a lot, spending a lot of time with people, uh, or spending a lot of time online, perhaps, you know, uh, spending a lot of time, wasting a lot of time, um, and creating enemies online or even in person, or just simply hanging out at bars or at a restaurant or some place where you're spending way too much of time. So what we are talking about here is letting go of something that is not to your benefit. And so obviously if there's if you feel that something is to your benefit and you um and you know then there's no need to let go of it. But here it's almost saying, well, let go of the distraction of social interactions because there is an enemy in there or there's something in there which is not really which is leading you astray or not really to your benefit. There's also a sense here that depending too much upon an institution, upon a house, upon something, uh, being too dependent upon it, uh, seeking too much of comfort in it, is uh, dulling your senses. It's not keeping you sharp enough to be able to spring onto your feet when you need to and to be able to take action when you need to. So where is it that you might have gotten a bit too comfortable in a particular situation and it's that that you need to shake yourself free from and um, where is it that social activities or people in general are serving as distractions or even a social media is uh, serving as a distraction to what you really need to be concentrating on and doing in your life right now so 
to answer your question, what do you need to let go of? I would say that you need to let you need to look closely at who's in your circle and who's got your best interests at heart. And you need to look at where you're spending too much of time, uh, you know, frolicking or just too much of time in a social setting and not enough time in, in a balanced environment where you are spending that much of time with yourself as well, as well as, you know, looking after yourself. And then also look at where is it that you might find yourself too comfortable in a situation uh, linked to an institution or linked to a house in some kind of way. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that has been helpful here and good luck as you go about making the decision of what it is that you will be letting go of. Many blessings to you. So for those of you who have chosen the fourth option, this is the Sibila della Zingara. We asking the question, what do we need to let go of now? What is it that we need to let go of at this time? And um, how is that going to help us? Or how is that going to bring us help? So we have some interesting kind of cards here. So the first card we have is death. Uh, the second is misfortune. Um, the third here is the gift. The fourth is a child. And the fifth is uh, thoughtfulness. So this is quite an interesting combination of cards when we ask the question, what it is that we need to let go of. So the way in which I'd read this is to say that there are many ways um, in which one can let go of this. Yeah, I just realized that my mic wasn't plugged in properly. So apology for the poor sound here um, now and again. So I think the first um, meaning of this is to let go of the ending that might be in your life. To let go of that potential ending, that potential um, thing that that's something that's come to the end that you can actually let go of. Um, or to let go of grieving to let go of something that's coming to its natural end to actually go with the flow and allow it to let go don't don't hang on to it because it's not going to be of any value to you in fact it's going to bring you misfortune if you hang on to it and then also to say that you know if you let go of this there's a gift awaiting there's a gift awaiting you and that that is something that you can actually look forward to to having and I think the gift is really about a new beginning it's about having new chances and about being able to embark upon that but not to get distracted with the gift not to get um, caught up in the euphoria of having overcome the situation which has brought about the death and the 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 not well you know letting go of things and having averted the misfortune not to become euphoric with with that and to lose sight of where it is that you need to be going to so to be focusing on a new beginning here and to be giving some thought to that to be ensuring that you've given enough thought to this new beginning and how it will present itself and how it is that you will go ahead with this so that is one interpretation of the card another interpretation of these cards are to say that it's time to be able to let go of uh, the death or the grief and the misfortune that has plagued you already for some time and to be able to look at the gifts of life and, um, you know, the fact that one can actually access this gift of life and to be able to bathe in gratitude, to bathe in all the blessings that you have as a human being and to be able to relish that and to be able to start anew um, with all of those blessings at the forefront of your thinking, at the forefront of your mind and not to spend too much of time, not to spend too much of attention mourning the misfortune that you might have experienced or the difficulty that you might have had. The third way in which I would read this is to say that in order to be able to let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of, it's time to bring 
an ending to something and this may bring about misfortune but once again to focus on the gift of what this brings you and not to get bogged down with that and then also to um, focus on the gift of life and and to give thought to it and that sounds very similar to the second option that I've given you. I think that if we have to say here what is the one thing that we need to let go of I think the the thing that we need to let go of is the attachment to pain, the attachment to grief, the attachment to difficulty, and to be fully able to bathe in and to relish the goodness that is in your life and to be able to even see that, to be able to make the space to be able to see that, to be able to cleanse your thoughts from um, thoughts that are negative and to be able to focus on what is positive and what it is that you can be grateful for so i feel that letting go here it means letting go of all the hardship that you have it's almost like you need to say well okay i've had enough hardship in my life i've had enough of that and i'm gonna let go of it now i'm gonna let go of it and i've I've had it with with difficulty from now onward my life is going to be really good and then just be committed to that idea and see what impact that has in your life as you go ahead. So I think that that is, you know, a couple of the messages of the, the, this card here. The focal point here is this gift, you know, the gift is the middle card and it's drawing me in. And I feel that if you have to focus on that, if you have to focus on what the gift is in all of this, then all the rest will fall away. All the rest will fade in comparison. And the idea is not to give up thought, to think, but to think about what that which is positive and that which serves you as opposed to uh, that which ha- doesn't serve you. And of course, this is not to say that you shouldn't take off time to grieve or mourn the loss of something or someone. Uh, that is also a very important part of the process of letting go and healing. Um, but here it's almost to say, well, you know what, it's time to let go of that. It's time to let go of these endings. It's time to let go of the misfortune. It's time to let go of all of these things that have been plaguing you and have been stopping you from moving forward. And so let's move ahead now, but let's focus on the gift that's there and how to and how you can have a new beginning in your life if you were to just give it a chance. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. I, that is my reading for you for today. I hope that has been helpful. I hope that helps you as you need to let go of uh, or for, for what you've come here for and for what you need to let go of and wishing you many blessings as you go along. And for those of you who have chosen the fifth option, we are working with the Antica Sibila Italiana and we are asking the question, what do we need to let go of? is it that we need to let go of today what is it that we've come here to hear about letting go so these cards are quite a combination of cards and um, if one was doing a reading on them they would be quite interesting to read them However, when we ask the question, what do we need to let go of, then we need to look quite closely at the cards. And so the first card is Amico Bruno Sincero Obligantese. Excuse my pronunciation of Italian words. Um, so this is the uh, this is a card that which talks about uh, a brown friend, a brown skinned friend. Uh, who feels obliged to be sincere or is quite sincere, but it feels forced in a way. And the card and the question we're asking is, what do we need to let go of? So this comes up as something to let go of. A friend, a brown skinned friend who appears to be um, obliged um, in some way or the other. The next card is Un segreto, un caso notturno, Brigonia Rovina. So here the co- the cards, uh, the meaning of of these words are: there's a secret, a nocturnal case, imprisonment, 
and ruin. Okay, so it's talking about the about a case that or some kind of secret that's being held at night that one can feel uh, imprisoned by or one can which can lead to imprisonment, which can also lead to ruin. So it's about so when we ask the question, what do we need to let go of? I would say, well, if there is a secret that you've been keeping and if there is something that you've been holding quite close to your chest, something that has been keeping you awake at night, something that's been imprisoning you in some kind of way, you need to let go of that. You need to kind of let go of that secret. You need to tell somebody about it or you need to confront people about it and just be honest about what it is. Because it seems here that if you don't, that it's going to lead to, to your ruin. Then the third card is, um, yeah, it talks about it's un viaggio, Regali ricevuti guanano guandan guandano al al guaco. I'm not really sure of the pronunciation, so please forgive me here. But the words mean, well, it's a travel, a trip, right? And it's about gifts being received uh, when playing something or when when gambling. I would say it's when when gambling. So I think that. Here, one needs to be cautious about about gambling and about the gifts that are, one receives when gambling. And then the following, the, the last two cards are uh, Amarazzi and Anzio di Luto, um, which is um, like the announcement of mourning or the, a love announcing mourning. And then the last card is Denaro Amore Contrasto contrastato ostacola uh, which talks about how money can um, be an obstruction to love how it can be something that thwarts love it, it stops love from being and so so there are many things here that one could talk about uh, you know what what you could let go of and what you what you what you're being what it's being suggested that you let go of and um, I think that, you know, most obviously, if you're keeping a secret, it's time to let go of that. It's time to put it out into the open. And you don't have to do this in a way that really hurts you, but rather that it helps you get it off your chest. And then also a focus on money, like too much of a focus on money or um, money gained through gambling can lead to a um, to love being obstructed or love being you know defeated so just to pay attention to that because there's there's two cards of money or of um gains made by gambling or just money and then there's the card of love a love announcing mourning in between it so i think that it's important to think about you you know how transparent you're being with regard to financial issues with regard to your love you know, are you being transparent enough if you're in a relationship with someone? And um, if you're not, then just to be quite, um, you know, honest with this person, you know, don't don't keep secrets and, and don't be gambling or, or, or shopping a lot and, and losing the money and not, not sharing this with your partner. I think also it's talking about just you know not having too much of a focus on money and material matters because this can actually um, eclipse the goodness of any relationship and then you know and then to look at where it is that you might be having a secret that's keeping you awake at night it's keeping you imprisoned in your own mind and not really able to release yourself from it as far as the brown skinned friend that you have that you might have where there's this sincere obligation <laughs> or uh, where one feels obliged. I think it's necessary here. I think it's not so much about the brown skin colors. You know, the Sibylla cards have a, um, a knack of naming the color of the person as, as, as well as the, you know, trying to give some kind of more accurate descriptions as to what the person would be or who the person would be so very often skin color was used as a as a way of describing people 
But here I think that, um, yes, it could be somebody of the screen color, but I think it's very much more about uh, about, you know, what is the, the true intentions of this friend and how do you really feel about this friend who's there, who's very nice to you and always tries to uh, oblige you and what is, it appears to be sincere, but what is your true feelings about this friend and um, is this somebody or this person in your life and is this somebody that you you may need to let go of? as well and that's up to you i don't see anything harmful about that person but i do feel like all the other stuff regarding the money especially financial matters here there needs to be less of a focus on financial matters and how one spends one's money and more of a focus on on love and less on keeping secrets and more on being more transparent so i feel here that um you know, just stepping away from addictive uh, habits, uh, maybe such as gambling or something like this, maybe shopping online or shopping just generally is going to help as far as um, assisting in terms of the relationship and assisting in terms of moving things forward. If you're not in a relationship and there isn't love in your life and you're still, you know, you are listening to this and you're wondering what what does my life have to do with love? Well, I think it it, you know, you could just leave that out. What doesn't apply to you and just say, well, "Okay, well here I need to have less of a focus on on money or what money can buy and more of a focus on something else, you know, perhaps bringing more joy in my life or bringing more love in my life." And um perhaps I need to not keep things that are bothering me to myself not keep secrets but share my my troubles with others share my troubles with my family perhaps or my friends and talk to them about what what's really going on rather than pretending that all is okay you know and so just asking for help as far as that is concerned i think that is uh some of the advice that's given here in this uh in these cards and so what do you need to let go of well let go of a, of a concentration on money let go of any gambling or any addictive habits that you may have like shopping too much and uh, pay attention to who's sincere in your life and who isn't and also um let go of any secrets that you have because it will ultimately lead to your ruin and so it's it's time to let go of all those things so that was quite different from what I expected um, this this uh, reading to be about, to be honest. I thought it was going to be quite different, but I guess it really depends on the cards and the type of deck that's being used. And I have to say that I would love to use this, uh, like ask this question again, but use a deck of tarot cards and see what would come up there. I think it would have very different, uh, have a very different result but here. These cards are very much... Um, they were very practical in the way, in the day that they were used and um, back in the day, that is. And I think that they give you very direct um, results about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And I'm also more interested in hearing the more mysterious um, and esoteric uh, version of this, this question. The, um, so what do we need to let go of and in terms of our well-being in terms of our lives in, a, in another perspective as well so I might just do this card reading with this question again but with with a different set of cards and leave the Sabila cards in the future to more love related um, readings because here I felt like every single card had something to do with love and uh, yeah and not all not everyone comes here to this reading looking for um, for whatever one needs as far as love is concerned. So with that, I'm going to leave you. I hope that this has been a helpful reading and I hope that uh, this helps you as you go along. Many blessings to all of you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>